Solo traveling is a self-guided journey with the aim of being free to go anywhere. However, before doing so, it's a good idea to know what preparations are needed before trying to go solo. Traveling alone to visit beautiful places that have not even been touched by humans in various countries may still sound very unreasonable to most Indonesians. People still think that solo traveling is very dangerous, especially for women. The point is getting out of your comfort zone is not easy and requires a very strong mentality. When we're able to get out of our comfort zone and are able to do solo traveling, we will get a lot of experience and knowledge of course positive things that we will get with solo traveling which will certainly make us independent people. Why should you solo traveling? Because with solo traveling you will be able to find your true self, you can understand the differences are not things to be compared and everything has its own time. Solo traveling also has advantages and disadvantages. Disadvantages of solo traveling. During the trip you will be alone and have no friends to chat with. If we move locations we have to find out on the internet. We have to find our own food. It costs a lot. From a security perspective, it tends to be more risky, prone to crime. Advantages of solo traveling. Like getting a new atmosphere and getting out of your comfort zone. Relieve stress and improve mood discover new places. If you are a blogger or YouTuber, the experience while traveling can be made into articles or content. When you do solo traveling, you should be able to plan everything that involves the trip. Whether it's a problem or trivial thing such as departure time and managing your finances, then you have to fight fear and anxiety while solo traveling. One thing you must consider is lodging accommodation, because you are not accompanied by anyone, If you choose the wrong accommodation, you will get new problems. Of course, this will interfere with the comfort of your solo traveling.